So I'd been traveling down the Ho Chi Minh Highway, aka QL15, for a few days, staying at hotels in random little villages for the night along the way. But between Phong Na and Kisang, there was 200 kilometers of nothing. No villages, no gas stations, no stores. A hundred kilometers in, there's a tiny little village right in the middle that had a pub, restaurant, and a hotel. Then another hundred kilometers of absolutely nothing. But it was incredibly beautiful, and it was a ton of fun to drive through. I just had to make sure that I filled up on gas before I started. So I've been driving on this road for an hour and a half, and I have seen one other person on it the entire time. One. Uh, and that person was a backpacker. He wasn't even a local. So this is m maybe the most remote part of Vietnam I've ever been. It's There's nothing here. There's no people whatsoever. The cicadas here are incredibly loud. It's one of the few places in the world where you are quiet for a few moments and you don't hear any sounds of human activity. Just hear nature. I hear tons of insects, a bunch of bees birds, all sorts of stuff. But I'm just blown away because like, I've been to some remote parts of Vietnam, but this takes the cake. I haven't seen any shops. I haven't seen any gas stations. I haven't seen any people. I haven't even seen any like locals, um, motorbikes. Usually, even in the really remote parts of Vietnam, you see a local's motorbike like parked on the side of the road. Um, as they attend to their crops or harvest firewood or whatever they are doing. Um, so you might not see the actual local, but you see their motorbike on the side of the road. Um, not here. Literally nothing. It's absolute insanity. I can't get over how remote this, this little stretch of road is. Um, apparently, from what I've read, uh, it's only about 100 kilometers that is this remote. So I've probably done... Maybe 50, maybe 60, I don't know, I have no idea. Uh, the roads are very twisty, so it's very hard to tell. And I am not going fast, but it's just crazy. I can't get over it, it's crazy. Group of crazy kids over there. Look at where I am, holy moly. Big old suspension bridge that you can ride your motorbike over. I decided not to ride my motorbike over it because I don't need to go that way. Um, I have ridden my motorbike over bridges like this before, and it's fine. They're they're solid. Uh, it's not even it's not even intimidating or anything. Oh my God, though, this place is beautiful, beautiful. I th I've been looking ever since my first week in Vietnam. I went to a place called Ha Giang, or Ha Yang, however you say it, and ever since then I've been looking for a place that equals it, or at least rivals it in beauty. And there's been some beautiful places, but nothing has quite lived up to Ha Giang. Today, this place, the, Ho Chi, the Western Ho Chi Minh Road, between Phong Na and Khe San, it rivals it. I don't know if it beats it, but it rivals it. Phong Na also, those three. Oh my God. Beautiful turquoise river, which I am going to jump in later on in the day. Stretching out to the horizon. Incredible karst mountains covered in jungle. Wonderful, wonderful mountains. Beautiful fields. Traditional boats. This place is amazing. It's absolutely incredible. I adore it. <laughs> 